David Hyde, thanks for joining us. Yeah, good to be here. Well, it's a really interesting time in the Canadian cannabis sector. Uh, C45 passed uh, yesterday uh, in the Senate. Um, what is your take on where the industry stands now versus where it was, say, six months ago? Well, I mean, I think we've been seeing a ramp up to legalization, and I think a lot of people have been making moves and kind of divine rodding where this was going. We now know definitively that we have a ticking timeline. We know that these new regulations are coming in. And I think it really kind of solidifies the reality, which is people are moving quickly to try and find this, their, their, their path, their lane. I think a lot of some people have that lane. Some of the early, early movers had the first territory, but they've learned from mistakes and they've had to retool and do things differently. The new folks coming in are, are pretty aggressive. They're very smart. They're very nimble. They've learned some of the mistakes and the earlier guys did. So everyone's kind of jostling for position. There's lots of opportunity. And I think really it's just watching now how this all plays out. I expect to see a lot of new um, uh, licensed producers as we move towards the Cannabis Act. I expect to see uh, more extraction facilities, more distribution facilities, the ramp up to the provincial supply chains. Uh, I think we're going to be a little bit light on the shelves for the first few months, but we're moving towards, uh, I think, a very hot, very um, active uh, period of the industry where it's going to be really jockeying for position in terms of the licensing positions and jockeying for position on the re on the retail shelves, if you will. And, and how has that affected your business specifically, right? You, you Working with uh, licensed producers for sure, but everywhere along that chain of, of, of supply is David Hyde and his people. Yeah, like I mean, we've been lucky to kind of forge um, our own kind of unique position in the industry from getting in early and from kind of grabbing as much territory as we could, right, with applications, with LPs. So, you know, we're working on a lot of applications, like LP second sites, third sites, and beyond licensed dealer applications, research and development. I think everything's on fire. I mean, we are getting lots of new applicants through the door. They're not always the same, I want to have this massive great greenhouse and grow lots of cannabis. There's just a few of those still, but there are, now they're more nuanced. People that want to do extractions, want to do R&D, they they're looking towards the edible market. I've got a lot of people we're talking to on the food side, the beverage side, the farmer side, you know, um, uh, confectionery, all these areas that really want to know, okay, well, I, I need to plan now for licensing that will happen in 2019. Uh, outdoor Grow is another one as well. So we're getting a lot of people coming to us saying, how can you prime us? How can you help us to get our heads around where this is going, but also make sure we're applying today for what we need to apply for today? It's a pretty unique skill set that, that you've developed in that space in trying to, I guess, predict a bit of where the Health Canada regulations have been, have come to, and where they're going. Yeah, I mean, if anyone knows this process at all, the most predictable thing is Health Canada's unpredictability. And I say that with not with, not with disrespect. Um, you know, this is a fast-moving target. There's a lot of moving parts. Um, Health Canada has had to ramp up and learn as a new regulator in the space over the last, it's only been four, four years, they've been regulating this marketplace, right? So we're all still learning. Um, we're, all, we're all moving towards you know, a new licensing regime now. So I think to me, the next challenge is going to be, we're going to be pivoting from the ACMPR and the licensed dealer with cannabis type uh, um, applications and, and licenses to a whole new regime. The new regime is going to be an umbrella regime where all cannabis will slot under this one um, regulatory um, a landscape that will have unique and discrete licenses, many of which can marry up and exist or cohabitate under the same umbrella. So um, a lot of people are not sure what's going to be in those regulations. So how do you prepare an application now or how do you prepare a site now that will meet the regulations for today but that will be smoothly grandfathered into the regulations for tomorrow? So the biggest challenge for us and what I think we're trying to get better at every day is really kind of divine rodding where this is going, knowing what we know now about where it is, looking at what we've been teased that what should be in the new regulations and trying to navigate for our clients how to get there, how to strategize on the licensing side and how to lay out their security and safety programs so that we can kind of map into that rather than have to kind of arrive at this brick wall of the new Cannabis Act and say, oh, cripey, I didn't think about this, I didn't think about that. We're going to help them to navigate that transition. It's really an interesting time. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for being with us here today. Been a pleasure.